Hi you guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um y'all I just ooh, I just washed my face. My face is super clean, might I add, and y'all I don't know if I told y'all, but I cut, not down here, I cut my eyelashes off because they were getting super long and just getting on my last nerve. Anyway, what I'm about to use now is this. This is the Signature Nourishing Facial Mask to calm, soothe, and replenish. It says apply one to two layers evenly, um, and then you have to stir it with the brush until it gets whipped. So the jar is made of glass, which I love because that means it's recyclable. Y'all can tell. That's cool. So I'm just going to use what's on the brush. And this is for moisture. So I'm going to start in the center of my... Ooh, that's cold. Ooh, that is really cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So far, using the products, I feel like I feel like it's it's like taking your esthetician home with you. If that makes any sense, as long as you follow instructions, you're going to get results and they're not anything drastic. You know, obviously I've only been using the products for, for one day, but it's not anything drastic, but the formula is being so clean and uh simplistic just from a consumer standpoint is really really nice and i know most products will be like avoid contact with the eyes let me tell you something that is a scam to me i mean obviously you don't want to get it in your eye like for real in your eye but our eyes have such thin skin if any part of our face needs love it's our freaking eyes and our mouths, I would say. Eyes and mouths. I'm gonna rinse this off in a little bit and then I'm gonna get some water in the meantime because I'm having, I'm trying to get out of the habit of eating sugar before I go to bed, but y'all, it is so hard because I just be wanting to relax and chill and vibe and the sugar just, it does it for me, you know? Also, I feel like when I eat sugar, I do fall asleep faster but i'm feeling like part of that might be like you know how when people who have diabetes eat sugar they can go into a coma allegedly allegedly i'm i'm pre-diabetic something along those lines i was told that a long time ago um but i feel like that's what it is i feel like my body just goes okay that's enough sugar for you go to sleep so we can fix it <laughs> So I'm trying to stop doing that. <laughs> it's been a while since I picked up my vlogging camera. Um, I don't really have a reason why. I don't have a rhyme, a reason, an excuse. I just didn't vlog. Um, but I actually have some stuff going on this week. So I'm picking the camera up today. It's starting the vlog off today. So hi. <laughs> Today I decided to go to the gym because I went to the gym yesterday with Damien and we were just figuring things out for him so I was not nearly as pumped and like going as I normally would be because y'all know I'd be down there for like an hour and a half when I go when I go to the gym I'd be there for like an hour and a half so I made up for yesterday today and that was pretty much just back in arms and let me show y'all let me I'm not fist flash y'all, but I just want to show y'all. Look at my little. <laughs> you see that girl? You oh, oh what? Whose arm is that? Anyway, so I was working on that, and then when I came home, obviously I showered and I started cleaning up slowly, like real slow. As you could tell, real real slow. Um, uploaded some content like I've just begin things up. so anyway now that I'm almost done tidying up the place I'm going to open up my Hagendas. so 
I don't know if y'all have heard. I mean, I know I talk about it, but Hagen Dust has a liquor, a liquor infused selection, right? And I like almost all of them. They're only sold at Kroger though. I don't know what it is or why it is, but every time I go get one of these from the Kroger near our house, it's always melted. This one is not, thank God, but I have to open them and check because baby, I be, here you go. I always give the little top to the on. I be trying to eat my ice cream and I open it up and it's done melted, like completely defrosted, melted, and then it froze again. So I'm just gonna, and you can tell because when you open it, the little lid on the top, when you touch it, it should be soft like ice cream. But when I get one that is bad, it's not. So I'm glad that that's, so I'm glad that that's okay. It's the next day. I think I blogged yesterday a little bit. It's the next day and it is 11.24 a.m. I just got off of a Google meeting with um, this agency called The Social Wire. <clears throat> they are fantastical, okay? Um, and basically, I'm going to be testing a product for a company that hired them. Long story short, I was kind of sort of folding laundry as well while I sat in my bed. Because the view from my bed was cute. Like, they could see my shelf right there, so they may or may not have known that I was in the bed. But I'm actually getting ready to try to see if I could find a good stretching video on YouTube. And I'm supposed to get on this floor and stretch, baby, because yesterday I went to the gym and I'm sore. I'm sore. I'm not super sore, but I'm sore enough to find a stretching video. In like an hour and 35 minutes, I'm also going to go to the Tula event, which is going to be fun. I was planning on wearing a wig. Like, I look tired, y'all. I look so tired. I'm looking in the mirror. I look so, like, my hair, I look so tired. And I don't even, I'm not going to say I don't feel tired, but I don't understand why I'm tired because I'd be sleeping, but whatever. Um, I'm going to do my skincare because it is a skincare event. Damien told me I should wear makeup, but in my mind, it's just like, if the event is for skincare and you got makeup on, do you want to sit in the sauna? And I'm going to do cold plunge. I think I told y'all. In sports bra sports bra this is a sports bra <laughs> um i just put on my kosas deodorant i got a message the other day from one of my friends asking me which deodorant i use this is theirs it's the kosas sport i use the fragrance free one um it says aha serum deodorant and this is deodorant serum aha in case you didn't get it the first time this one's fragrance free like i said um and it's just Hopefully there's no armpit hairs or nothing on here. It's just like that. Like, you know, slippery. I didn't used to like deodorants that were wet when I was younger because I just thought it was weird. And <clears throat> I feel like back in the day it was gel and not just wet. So you put it on, it dries, put on your clothes, bam, bam, boom. Right now it is 1214. I do need to use the bathroom. Um... But I also need to do something with this hair. My hair is... I'm tempted to put some edge control on. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Because in my mind, I feel like it would just make my hair look a little bit more presentable. But considering the fact that we're going to be exercising, apparently, I don't know that that really matters. I also need to take the dogs outside. And I need to put on my shirt. I was thinking about buying one of those spray deodorants from Dove. Because I was on Instagram. And um, I don't know if y'all follow Jackie Ina. But she went to Fashion Week in a couple of different places. And she was sharing this trick that she does where if her clothes are tight. I think I have this on backwards. If her shirt is tight, she'll put on her regular deodorant. And then she'll spray deodorant on the outside. And I was just like, I never thought about that before. I will wear my deodorant and I will be fine, right? But my shirt, if my shirt is tight, my shirt will smell kind of funny 
even though when I take off my shirt, I do not smell funny, even with my, um, with my deodorant on, right? And that's because the bacteria from the sweat will get into the clothes, and my AHA is on my skin. So once it gets on the clothes, your clothes might get a little tangy, depending on what kind of deodorant you have. I'm gonna leave my hair like this, like that, and then I'm gonna take this bow, and I'm just gonna stretch it on top to kind of give me a little bit more of a something. <laughs> And my Amazon hair clips to secure the bob. Kind of like pull down on the hair to see where it needs support. And decorate the back of my head. Okay y'all, I am here. I step out of the car and first thing that happened to me is I get bit by a mosquito. No thank you. And remember in 2020, I think it was 2021, I got my first cult, what you may call it, that fitness stuff and everything. So they said they were gonna get one of these. This is so cute because it's a tote and it's a backpack, y'all. The wellness center has lockers, which is really, really nice. And there is a spa area. We love to see it, honey. I think the bathrooms are back there. So this is the sauna area. Ooh, how exciting. This is what the bathrooms look like, which y'all know me, I don't play about public bathrooms. If it's not clean, I'm not staying. That's nice, and I'm assuming those are the showers. Okay. And then I believe back here is where we're going to be working out. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, I don't think we'll be working out back here, but they have weights. Oh, I love this, honey. They have the bar thingies that I've been wanting to work out on. Cool. I'm looking forward to this. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is shoot some content for Instagram because the short form content performs the best but for everybody to get up in here. Yes, get what you can, girl, because I wish the sun was out, though. I feel like that'd be a lot more favorable for y'all. stretching and it was really nice. I need to get my shoes though. <laughs> Gotta do the cold plunge. The suit that I brought for the cold plunge from, this is from Fabletics. This is what the swimsuit looks like. It's actually really comfortable. 
I like that it covers all of this too. And I'm pretty sure, I don't think it was seasonal, but I know I got it last year. It's giving body. It's giving tea. <laughs> it's giving Tula. I'm just like, I think they do code pledges. He's like, he looked at me and he busted out laughing. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, you got me messed up. That ran this way? Yeah, going this way. And then immediately go all the way in and put your back here. Oh, you snap. got it, sister. Yes, you can. try it again um i'm thinking about getting i was going to say a subscription i'm thinking about getting coming to classes here because i love the amenities and then also it just seems like the thing to do um getting some guidance and i would also like to cold plunge again for now though i'm just to sit in this sauna baby and i'm gonna put my camera outside of the sauna so that it doesn't get messed up <laughs> Can y'all see? <laughs> I feel like it's been kind of dark. But anywho, I got my bowl. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. This is so much fun. It's been like a whole spa day, pretty much, is what it's felt like. I'm really happy that I came. It's been fun. Okay, woo! I am officially on my way home. That, by far, was the best event I've brand event I've ever been to it, it really really was because it was so immersive in my opinion like we had something to do and I feel like a lot of other companies when they do brand events they feed you and give you drinks and they teach you about the product and everybody sort of just stands around and like awkwardly talks to each other or doesn't but this was nice because we were stretching or we were doing mobility exercises and um you know obviously we had an opportunity to better get to know not only 
about the cult classic cleanser which I'm very familiar with but we also got to know the team behind the emails and the posts and stuff. like we we're meeting the people who we talk to and interact with which was so cool I do wish that I got to meet Melissa which is the representative from Tula that I communicate with the most too but she's on her honeymoon so shout out to you um yeah y'all that was just so nice it was nice it was quiet there wasn't it wasn't chaos i was by myself the whole time but i've honestly i feel like i am kind of solo dolo like like i was saying sometimes i feel like when i go out to events i really I'm one of those people who you got to come up to me and not in like some bougie joie joie stuff. It's just growing up, it was always don't speak unless you're spoken to, you know, I just remember being told phrases like that. And when I questioned myself as to why it is that I don't just hop up and go say hi to people and stuff like that, I, I feel like that's why, like, you know, if you... If a person really wants to get to know me or something or wants to interact, I don't want to force it on them. So when I go to these events, I'll say hi if we make eye contact. Look, not me out of focus. I'll say hi if we make eye contact. I'll, I'll chit chat, you know, things like that. But I don't really go out of my way to interact with other people at the influencer events because so another thing that I feel is absolutely true that maybe some people won't admit but I feel like most influencers are awkward individuals like in real life good morning vlog what's today I think today is Friday y'all I'm, I'm positive and positive yes today is Friday March the 15th y'all is it me or do I really be on these vlogs looking crazy <laughs> I feel like when other people vlog, they be so cute. Like, even when they are a mess, hair be slicked back and down. Like, they be prepared for the camera. Not me, though. Not me, because I'm vlogging. This is real life reality TV. <laughs> YouTube TV. Ooh, this brush feels so good on my scalp. Um, anyway, tomorrow is my assembly. And, um... If you don't know what the assembly is, it's a gathering. I think we do it like three or four times a year. Maybe. Anyway, it's a gathering that happens during the year for Jehovah's Witnesses. We go to the assembly and, you know, we get our spiritual food, period. Okay. So, with that being said, it's going to be an all-day matter. Um... I want to prepare for that mentally by cleaning my house because I just feel like when I have something to go do that's important and my house is in chaos, my house is in chaos or my house is not pristine, you know what I mean? Um, my mind is in chaos as I'm getting ready and when I'm on my way there, which I don't want. So, with that being said, we're going to clean my house today. Y'all can watch me clean my house because why not? I do need to learn how to do time lapses on my camera so that the footage doesn't take up as much space. Hold on, y'all. These crisscross headbands be so confusing, but, like, I learned that you just twist them in the top and then boom. I got a knot in the back and a knot in the front. I did consider going to the gym today, but that's not happening. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Okay, I'm giving YouTuber who was prepared to be on camera. Anyway, um, yeah, I was thinking about going to the gym today, but that's not happening because I realized that I need to clean my house. So, let us clean. We're going to start with the bathroom and some music. <laughs>
main areas are clean. Only thing I'm mad about to tidy up is the living room because <sighs> that is his area and <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's really just only so much that can really be done. Now that it's all clean, I'm going to light a candle. I have a few candles from Forever Mood. But my friend Irenia gifted me this one. And this is really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and burn it. This burned pretty evenly too. The brand is Leather and Brandy. And then I'm assuming the name of the candle is White Barn. And it says Warm Leather Amber Woods Aged Brandy. I'm also going to sweep while this fills the room. One thing I love about friends that pay attention to you, or friends that pay attention, is they know. They just know. I personally am not that great of a gift giver, I feel. I have this work smarter, not harder mentality where I would, I would rather give you the money, sis. I would rather give you the money and the opportunity to go get whatever you want yourself, right? For me, it's either or. Like, I love a good gift. Thank you so much. You know what I mean? Or if you want to give me the money, that's fine too. But if you getting a gift from me, it's either going to be something you asked very specifically for or it's going to be some money. Anyway, my candle is lit. I'm going to sweep. And then I was having dreams, y'all, about filming a makeup video. <sighs> I'm not rolling my eyes because... I'm not rolling my eyes because I have a problem with that. I just don't... I don't feel like it. I feel like if I make a makeup tutorial, I, I legit need to just sit down and get into my makeup and I'm not there today I do want to make a post though about milk's new product that's launched today it came out today so I'm gonna go ahead and make a post about that just because I really like milk makeup I feel like their team is very genuine I like that they don't send me every launch so I did get this new primer of theirs that they're launching today so I'm going to talk about that. Hey y'all. <clears throat> so I decided to come downstairs and do some editing for a blog. Not a blog. For a vlog that I want to upload. And really I just felt like I needed to be in a different space. I don't know about y'all but when I'm working I don't like to be at home. I had a work from home job um what like almost two years ago now but there's just something about being in my personal space when I have to do work that does not sit well with me like it just I don't know it makes me want to leave my house and not enjoy the comforts of my home when I should be comfortable so now I'm downstairs <clears throat> and nobody's down here, so I'm just going to edit. I also feel like when I work inside of my house too much, like I don't go, like when I don't go outside to take pictures or when I vlog and most of the vlog I'm in the house, I feel like it really messes with my mental health, like I don't know. I don't want to say that it's depressing, but it's definitely not as nice as when I'm out and about. <laughs> Which is something I want to change as soon as possible.
I'm back in the apartment and I finally finished editing the vlog. You know what? It didn't take me very long to get through editing once I was in a space that was not my personal space and I love that for me because I definitely needed it. I'm also rearranging the living space a little bit because like we have so much more room when I push things back and move things out of the way. And um, I really want to take advantage of that. So I also got my little plants. Look at my plants, y'all. I moved my little. I moved my little plants. These are. Allen is getting thick. I can't remember which. I think this is the original Allen, the one in this cup right here. And I think this is AJ Allen Jr. Y'all. I asked Damien yesterday, should I wash my hair? He was like, you're not going to want to deal with your hair in its natural state. And I said, yeah, that's true. But here's the thing. I have not washed my hair. My scalp has not touched water in over a month. And <laughs> I haven't seen my natural curl pattern in almost four months now. Excuse me. So I think I should wash my hair. And I think I should just deal with it. Also... I have problem area, which is this right here. Not so much on that side, but right here, this is my problem area that I've been treating and sort of trying to take care of for the last, I want to say three years or so. Um, and I can't do that when my hair is straight because I have to have a clean scalp to derma roll. I have to have a clean scalp to use treatments and things like that just to get it back where it needs to be. I also realized I need to take my iron because not having enough iron in my system, if I remember correctly, can cause hair loss. So, plus I'm getting flyaways and stuff. So just like it's time. It's it's time. Girl, get down. YouTube videos while I cook. I made, what was I about to say, pigs in a blanket? Okay. So I made, I made chicken pot pie, the filling, right? And I didn't want to buy crust yesterday because I just don't feel like waiting for the crust to cook. And then I also don't feel like potentially messing up the crust. I'm just, I'm crusted out, right? But I remembered a recipe that I saw on Pinterest using biscuits. They bake the biscuits on top of the filling, um, but I didn't want to do that because I don't want the biscuits to be soggy. So that's what I've been doing this whole time. I've also been in love with my fro. Y'all, I have not seen my afro for four months. That is so crazy. 
so crazy so beyond me beyond beyond me um i think yeah i was gonna say i think it's still wet underneath um but i didn't put anything in my hair at all nothing nothing in my hair i was thinking about doing a wash and go but i'm actually missing a very important product which is essentially like you know those gel custard products those kind i saw jackie ida do one with miel uh, hair care i don't use their products but i used to use this custard a long time ago for my hair and her video reminded me that that custard gives definition so and y'all know i like wearing my hair in a puff i'm either like this which is probably how i'm gonna be for the next week or so i'm either like this or i'm in a puff or i do some flat twists but my nails are done so the flat twists are not happening plus i kind of i'm over tension on my hair i kind of want my head to just be free anyway i'm about to sit down and eat and enjoy this and watch youtube videos and just be at peace like my scalp when i tell y'all feels so much better now that my hair is washed so like it is not dry it's not itchy it feels so much better good morning you guys i think i have the right memory card in there i think hopefully give me a, give me a. um i'm going to work today oh <laughs> so peep the hair looking very cute very cute <laughs> And I did my makeup. I filmed my makeup since <clears throat> it's about to be 12, so I didn't have to go until 12. So I did my makeup and filmed it. She's cute. She's cute. I honestly wanted it to pop a little bit more, but I think that the lashes are giving all that extra that I wanted to do with the eyeshadow. So for my outfit, which let me just lean this down so I can show y'all. I have on a cardigan from Pretty Little Thing some fashion nova jeans a tank top this tank top is from sheen as well and then i don't have my shoes on yet but i think i'm gonna wear my boots just because i don't know they i feel like they'll be easy to move in and it'll look cute with my jeans and then of course i have my coach bag that i've been carrying um it's just a coach tote I don't know the name of it. I could probably look it up if y'all really want to know. Let me know if you want to know. And yeah, that is all. Let me get a little. Is the camera focusing, baby? I've been needing to get those pictures, like those stills for the thumbnail. So yeah, I'm about to go to work. And I need to open these blinds because I believe that when you leave animals at home, they need to be exposed to sunshine. Y'all. This man left a cookie on the couch. Disaster waiting to happen. I also need to get something to eat. I need to get something to eat, so gotta go. Bye. I'm finally done working for the day. It was only a partial day. Here, let me roll up these windows. Even though it's low-key hot in here. It was only a partial day, so I get to go home. Before I do that, though, I'm going to go get some kitty litter because the litter box i clean it out y'all you know i do what i'm supposed to do but sometimes when i look in the litter box i just be like i just want to throw the whole box away <laughs> like i don't even and i i know that there are disposable litter boxes where you can just buy the pan and it comes with the litter on the inside i don't like those um because obviously you still have to scoop the poop like that's the whole that's the dilemma i'm having is having to scoop the poop and when there's so much poop i'm like how do y'all it's two of them and they just be filling it up like it's been two three four hours and there's just a little little dookies everywhere so i don't know um also let me turn this this way also my feet are hurting and not like a painful hurt it's just like almost like my toes are irritated 
with the fact that they can't stretch. I've been real into my feet lately, y'all, because my arc, not arc, my arch dropped a long time ago, and my mother's been telling me, like, oh, your ankles are rolling inward. It's called, dang, I forgot what it's called, but basically your ankles roll inward. That's a problem. It means that the muscles in your foot are not strong enough, and you have to strengthen them to reinforce that arch. So I'm trying to get my arch back. Hopefully I can. Hopefully I caught it in time or whatever. But yeah, so my foot hurts. I want to take off these dang old shoes, but I got to go get kitty litter. So we're going to go get kitty litter. How exciting. Um, let's take a look at this makeup. Y'all, I think I told you I did something different with my makeup. Granted, I have not had my makeup on nearly as long as I normally would. I also have not been speaking that much because... <clears throat> the kids, the students that I had today were very white. They are very white. But I don't really have creasing around my mouth. And so now I'm starting to wonder if my makeup has been creasing because I put too much foundation around my mouth. I did, I did, I'm gonna have to show y'all. Once I figure out for sure, for sure, what's going on with my makeup, I'm gonna show y'all my new routine and how switching up my steps has, and products, has improved the whole entire look, the whole game. So, y'all, I really want something sweet to drink. Ooh. I'm also trying to get better get to know, um, let me take this off because I am hot. I'm also trying to better get to know my body in terms of the kind of things that my mind will tell me when for example when I'm dehydrated I crave sweet stuff sugar when I'm dehydrated don't know why that is but anytime I need some water my body goes sugar 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 and I think it's because it's like oh she'll get like go drink some juice juice should have water in it um usually juices and fruit and things like that so yeah I've been trying to better get to know my body because um, one of my doctors was like, you might be pre-diabetic, you might have hyperthyroid, because we were talking about why I'm so skinny. And this was a long time ago, by the way. And so when he told me that I might be pre-diabetic, I took that to heart, baby, because I was like, I don't think I got no hyperthyroid. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't really have any body fat. Not you pulling out. You don't even have a freaking camera on your car. People are so impatient around here. It is ridiculous. And he's very lucky there ain't nobody behind me. My break's weekend. Anyway, my doctor said that I'm a pre-diabetic. So I've been trying to... Or one of my doctors a long time ago. So I've been trying to... Pay attention to the signs and the symptoms and the things. Because I know one thing from having had a boss with diabetes. He was a young black man. He said one of the things that he noticed was, number one, he couldn't eat too much of anything sweet. Like, he started to notice that things like cupcakes or pie or something like was just too rich for him. That's how he felt. He felt like it was too rich. But the reality was is his body could not handle that sugar, right? Then he also says um, he would be thirsty all the time, and he didn't know why. Then he got diagnosed with diabetes, and I was just like, uh -huh. So now I, I keep track of that. Um, anyway, I need to get some water. I'm going to get this kitty litter. And nothing else from the store, nothing else. Hey, y'all. So it's the end of the day. I did my grocery shopping. I cooked tortilla soup and I also ate the leftovers. I didn't eat the soup, I just ate the leftovers from last night. But I wanted to show y'all my makeup. So my thing that I've been having an issue with is creasing in my smile lines. And today, not so much, not so much. But as you can see, the as you can see, the discoloration from the smile lines that I used to have is there. So now I'm just wondering, is there some sort of a treatment I can do that's not a chemical peel specifically on these smile lines? Because the rest of my face is fine. 
actually also have a line under here, but that's from a totally different situation. But I wonder, is there anything I can do to get rid of that? Because here's the thing. I don't think it would be as obvious that I'm having creasing there if I didn't have essentially a shadow underneath my makeup. That's what I'm looking at it as. It's a shadow being cast underneath my makeup from discoloration. I don't think it would be as obvious because I see other people, you know, with their makeup creasing around their mouth and it's like, oh, I have to get close to notice that about you. So. And that's the wrinkles. Because it's creasing because I talk and I smile and my muscles are, you know. Other than that, though, my makeup is still really, really pretty. I feel like if I was going to keep wearing this any longer, I would definitely want to blot or something. Other than that, I really like the way that it looks. And I'm surprised. This is a NARS foundation, by the way. I think... I'm being real with y'all. I think I got this foundation. I think I got this foundation the same time that I reviewed it. It's like the NARS light reflecting. So the, the bottle itself is pretty old. Uh, but <laughs> so I'm I'm still surprised though that it endured on my face this long. And I look so cute. I think too, I'm just really feeling myself because I haven't seen my natural hair in almost four months and it's a vibe it's a vibe and we're getting i feel like i'm also almost back to the length that i had when before the pandemic which imagine if i didn't cut my hair off how long my hair would be crazy anywho onyx has got the zoomies i'm about to wash my face and take a shower and lay down and put my bonnet on <laughs> hey y'all hey blog um, you guys stop looking at me. <laughs> so, Monday, Tulip is going to be getting euthanized. And I've been, like, pushing back her getting either rehomed or euthanized for, like, a year now. But when I found out that she has, like, kidney problems and then you know the issues with her teeth and she's just she don't want nobody to take care of her she just wants to cuddle up and sleep all day and eat and then if you take her outside she'll run around until she gets tired but she gets tired a lot faster now but she's getting euthanized on Monday y'all and even though I've been sort of in my mourning process for a long time now When I think about, like, how long I've had Tulip and, you know, obviously she a dog, so they have feelings and stuff too, but she don't really know how she has been there for me, you know, and I just remember when I got her, I was really struggling uh, spiritually and emotionally. And I decided that, you know, I was going to get, I was going to get a cat. <laughs> I wanted a cat because, you know, cats to me can teach you boundaries and stuff like that, but... My mother would not let me get a cat, so I got Tulip. And I decided to be celibate. I think that's the word. I had decided to be celibate. I had decided not to be in any kind of physical, or not physical, any kind of relationships. I decided not to be in any kind of physical contact, you know with men or anything like that and I had also decided that I wanted to get baptized and so for the for a long time Tulip was my joy my throat started hurt because I'm trying not to just like ball <laughs> or look at myself 
But Tulip had just been my joy for so long. I remember one of the first times that she went missing and I didn't know where she was. <laughs> she had went under this gate behind uh, my family home. Oop, let me get something up. My nose is running. She had went behind this gate and I jumped the gate, y'all. It was like metal wires and stuff back there. And my mom was like, you gonna have to get a tetanus shot. You jumping over gates and touching metal. Y'all, I was crying so much when she ran away. Because I was just like... I just... I I feel like in the process of me being celibate and not dating. And not having any romantical contact with people. And trying to balance myself out spiritually. Um, I was overcoming neglect and abandonment issues uh from my childhood and when she would run away I would just be like is it me <laughs> like am I not doing enough for you you know but I quickly came to realize she just a dog that like to be she liked to be free she liked to run around she likes to explore and she'll come back which I learned that very quickly too she'll come back she just want to go do her own thing um and she sort of taught me in that way like I don't have to be bound to where I'm at in life I can I can go and do the things that I want to do and if I if I feel like I need a home or a base to return to I can have that as well so I'm just thinking about that and you know how Tulip was always there for me during um my periods because y'all know I have endometriosis and a lot of the time I just I felt very alone during those times but she was always there y'all She was always there, y'all. <laughs> she would sit with me in the bathroom. She was scared of water, y'all. <laughs> she did not want to get in the bathtub because she don't like bathing. But she would sit with me while I was in there crying and in the water trying to, you know, relieve myself from the pain and that boiling water. She was always there in the bed with me. She wouldn't leave. And I feel bad because I can't tell her. You know what I mean? I can't let her know. Like, look. This is what's about to happen. I feel like it's very misleading. And obviously, God don't let us talk to animals for a reason, but. I just wish I could tell her, like, you know, thank you. You, you been with me for over 10 years. And, you know, even when I'm upset at you, <laughs> you always making me laugh and smile and feel better. And when stuff ain't going right in my life, there you are to make me feel like somebody is on my side and care about me. I just wish I could explain to her that it's not like she don't need to be afraid because she she doesn't let nobody take care of her. She don't let nobody cut her nails. She don't let nobody brush her teeth. You know, she just she a difficult old little old lady. <laughs> and so I wish I could tell her because I know when I take her up there, she's going to be afraid. But hopefully they let her like sit in my lap or something so she can calm down and sort of relax they're gonna put her to sleep first and then you know I'll leave the room and then they're they're going to give her uh or or do whatever they do to euthanize her and I'm assuming I leave the room because when people and, and animals die 
they use the bathroom on themselves and things like that. And, you know, they don't want us coming into contact with that. And then maybe saying, oh, I got sick because why they use it as my dog. But, uh, y'all, I'm just feeling very emotional because, like I said, I just wish I could tell her everything's okay. You know, thank you. You was a very good doggy, and I wish I could help you. I wish you would let me help you, but you were you sick, and you know I don't think I could bear coming home and finding you asleep in death under the bed. I don't, or on the floor, or you know one of the other animals eating on you because you done know, passed away earlier in the day. You know what I mean? I just. I felt the need to come on here and say this because if I'm being quite honest with y'all, I don't want to talk to face to face with another person about this because even when people understand, I don't think the way that I communicate my feelings uh, and my thoughts and my opinions, it don't always come across as palatable for people because I am considerably direct and like I said I've been holding back on this for a little over a year now because I've known for some time that she has like kidney problems and I've been trying to do things that I can do things I can afford to do to help her um but I would like to disillusion myself into thinking that maybe she does know and that's why she's been acting the way she's been acting here lately. She used to be to herself. She used to hide and she didn't want nothing to do with nobody. You know, that's when I knew something was wrong. And I have been talking out loud about you know her getting euthanized. Not that I think she knows or understands but um maybe she does i don't know <laughs> and i've been trying to involve and include her in our room because we don't let the dogs in here because they're old and they even though they are both potty trained they're old so you know you spook them and this carpeted floor is ruined and i don't care what nobody say it get getting dog pee out of carpet is mission impossible especially when you can smell it like i can smell it i don't care how many cleaning products you use i can smell it so um yeah i've been trying to include her in here you know after she's gone to the bathroom and things like that and she has been so desperate uh the last few months to be in here and part of me feels like it's because she knows that she's starting to pass away. She don't feel good. And so I found a humane society um, in my hometown. I'm going to take her over there. And I'm going to let them um, do whatever they do with her remains. Because I don't want to have ashes in my house. I feel like. All that's going to do is upset me because I have such a connection and bond with Tulip. I feel like every time I look at the jar, I'm going to be mad. Oh, hold on, y'all. This light being right there is a little harsh, but yeah. So like I was saying, I don't want to have her ashes in my house because I feel like every time I see the box or the jar, you know, I'm going to be upset. I also don't want nobody accidentally spilling her ashes everywhere, you know. Um, so I'm going to let them take her body and do whatever they do with it. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they put all the dogs in a furnace thing and then they just light them up and, you know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Which I'm okay with. I don't really want her to be buried nowhere or nothing like that. Um, but yeah, I was just feeling real emotional and I felt like. I need to tell somebody and I, I as weird as it may you know be to other people that I'm more comfortable talking to my blog camera <laughs> than I am another person about this um it makes me feel comfortable 
it makes me feel seen and I also know that if I ever do want a reminder or to revisit these feelings I'll be able to come back to this video and say you know what I was a good dog mama you know I took care of her I made sure she was okay you know I took her on little adventures and um, more importantly I respected the fact that you know Tulip has issues she has anxiety I feel like she was abused because her name used to be Silky somebody turned her in her name used to be Silky so I feel like she was abused just from her behavior and how jumpy and scary she is I know chihuahuas are little but I've seen chihuahuas that are disciplined and trained and don't be acting like that. So I don't think it's just a chihuahua thing. Um, but yeah, I respected her boundaries. You know, I would take her to the vet and get her shots and stuff because she needed it. But, you know, things that she wouldn't eat, things that she didn't like to do, things that scared her. You know, I've protected her as best as I can, especially when she don't be running away and... Now I'm I'm like, oh my god, I only have a few days left with, with, with Tulip. And even though I'm sad about that, you know, I'm also happy that she still trusts me enough to, to be laying down and, you know, she, because I used to think that that she didn't uh, want to be around me no more because she would just go hide and but I'm I'm happy that she was here and she contributed to me carrying on in this world because much like many other people there was quite a few times where I was just ready to be done I did not want to be here and her cute little ears and her big old eyes. Her eyes look black when she not in the sun. Her big old eyes. But yeah, y'all. Um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog that. I don't know if I can. Um. But I just wanted to share that. Well, you guys, we are here. I managed to have Tulip have a really, really good day. She ran around a lot. She was on her own. I mean, I was there, but she ran around a lot through the neighborhood that I would grow up in, um, or that I grew up in, or one of the neighborhoods. And she's pooped. So, hopefully this goes easier than I'm thinking it's gonna go because obviously I don't want to get like super duper emotional I've cried a lot already but I'm just so grateful I'm grateful that everybody who's met Tulip loves her and you know that she is remembered as number one such a cutie because everybody keeps saying that <laughs> and number two just a lovable dog in general so Thank you, Tulip. Thank you for being a good girl. Thank you for being there when I was learning how to love myself and feel my emotions. Not gonna vlog, obviously, inside, but... <sighs> love your animals and your people because one day you will have to let them go. And sometimes it's before you expect it. It happened so fast. <clears throat> so fast, y'all. Which I think is a good thing because, like, it saves the people who work at the Humane Society time and, like, the trouble of dealing with people who might be a little bit more emotional. Um, but, y'all, as soon as the technician started talking to me about Tulip, it was in this really calm voice. I just started crying, like, bawling. And he gave her the shot and, you know, she squealed because... My girl's a drama queen. <laughs> um, and then she just started to relax. And 
that was so nice um that was so nice that she just relaxed she relaxed in my arms in my lap and you know she just she fell asleep um and obviously i'm crying i can't really navigate it, like one reason why i'm crying but and i just hope i don't forget tulip and i'm i'm really grateful to tulip and to my friend tiara who was there to help me adopt tulip <clears throat> and i just hope that you know she knows that i or she knew because she's gone now but i just hope she knew that i loved her very very much even when i was being a butt sometimes and i will never love another animal like her um the way i loved her because she was so unique she was she was my baby my piglet my fuzzy butt <laughs> anyway um i'm getting gas because the car is like there i had like a quarter tank of gas driving all the way out here and i'm gonna go see my niece play her first flag football game hopefully it doesn't end super quickly because i am late so Let's go. And I'm going to put on some shades so I don't bum people out. <laughs> since the last time I vlogged. Y'all, so much has happened, so much has been going on. None of it was stuff that I necessarily wanted to put on camera. But I say all that to say this, change is coming. Change is coming. And I believe for once, I'm ready. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching my vlog. I really appreciate y'all. We have gotten, I think to like, 7,227 subscribers so thank you so much if you're not subscribed please do so you can do it on your tv it means a lot to me um and drop a comment let's let's get into it you know what i'm saying i'll see y'all later peace